So this innovation propels us into the future. It propels us into the fourth industrial revolution. And so we join um, the developed world in trying to answer the questions. And it provides the key for us to find our own solutions uh, for our own, our own disease problems. It helps us uh, be catalytic when it comes to diseases of Africa. The area of genomics, uh, everyone talks about the fourth um, industrial revolution is going to revolve around data and big data. In the health space, it's, it's genomics. It's understanding and linking diseases and genetics, um, uh, short term and long term. Um, this is an area that has not really existed on the continent um, in terms of infrastructure. There have been a few projects that have been funded in big international funded programs, but there have never really been a resource on the continent to do whole genomic sequencing. And uh, it was an area that the MRC could not ignore. Um, so investment in genomics infrastructure where we can do it, uh, do the research in genomics on the continent are absolutely critical. It is the future of where most medical research is going and uh, the continent was seriously lagging. So it was a strategic decision to build an infrastructure that we can do a homegrown genomic science and research, but also train a whole cadre of scientists because uh, we don't have a huge number of scientists in this space. This uh, project uh, at the MRC means that we'd be able to localize uh, human genome sequencing in our country. And um, this is a big thing because we don't have the capacity to do large-scale human genome sequencing. And the problem has been that uh, most of our samples go offshore for sequencing to happen um, in other places around the world. And by having the infrastructure to support a large-scale workflow means that we can offer cost-effective sequencing locally and increase uh, our level of genomic science in South Africa. So we BGI as a world leading genomic companies, we like to help in the local com country to develop in the country-wise capacities where people can do precision medicines even better. And so when we talk about precision medicine and personalized medicine, that's usually reserved for um, people in, the, in America or in the first world countries. And for us to start understanding how disease works in Africa and how our genes um, uh, may influence the responses to the treatments that we receive, it will enable us to, to find solutions and also it will enable us to address the issues where the drugs may not work uh, because we have not take, taken into account the specifics um, of how our genetics influence the diseases we have. So the most pertinent objective of the centre is to help catalyse precision medicine. This centre and the vision to establish the centre is born within uh, the precision medicine programme that the SAMRC is pioneering. So phase one is really get the lab up and running. Um, and phase two, which is you know, often the most important part, it's the personnel part. You can't run a very high-end uh, uh, laboratory like this without trained people. Uh, and, um, and to have trained people, you need a, a cohort of national scientists who, who can work in this space. Um, we do have some, and I mean, we have some world leaders in this space, but we don't have enough. Um, so things that were never really spoken about in health in, in Africa beforehand, big data science, um, bioinformatics, genomics, um, uh, you know, uh, genomic uh, counselors, you know, these are all relatively, and I say relatively new disciplines um, that, that are, are going to be part of the future of healthcare and we don't have enough. Most countries don't have enough, uh, but Africa particularly, we, we are lagging behind. So training is a really important part of this uh, program. Ten years ago, if you had cancer in Africa, um, it was just, well, let's just hope for the best that the treatment works. If you're using genomics as, as, as one of your key weapons to help diagnose, you can get um, the right patient on the right treatment uh, far more effectively. And, and the benefits for the patient are huge, but the cost benefits from a government perspective are huge as well because you're not wasting money on treatments that won't work. So the services that the centre offers are obviously whole genome sequencing, uh, whole exome sequencing, and uh, transcriptome sequencing. We place the equipment in the local institute and also we help him to 
duplicate the BGI workflow in the local so that the services can be offered at the local. We can foster in the local um, large human genome project to be developed so that we can prepare the countries for the fourth industrial revolution. Having this uh, program based at the Medical Research Council is part of our national mandate. It allows all universities to interact equally with us and it helps us in our endeavour to use science to advance life in South Africa. So my role in the centre is co-managing the laboratories on behalf of PGI and to making sure the proper workflow has been set up. Also to identify the demand and need from the centre to making sure the expertise development at the international level. So my role has been to, uh, you know, we've been working for two years together with the BGI and we designed the center to have this high throughput workflow and place the equipment in the center and uh, to establish uh, a large scale research program. So that, that's kind of where um, my role would be. So my hopes for the center is that this center can also be a bridge between the scientists from China and also scientists from South Africa to co-creating the um, environments to work together on the genomic research. Also, we can drive in together by doing a large-scale national levels of genomic study and then to identify, to collaborate on the disease researches on both countries. So this endeavor you know, has been encouraged by the Department of Science and Technology and by the Department of Health. And so they are our major partners in this endeavor and the people that have supported us through this establishment of this program. By using this, we want to work with both scientists within the, in, in the intramural program of the MRC, with universities in South Africa, universities in Africa, and scientists in Africa, and scientists abroad. And so this resource is not only a resource for South Africa, it's a resource for the African continent. And so we want to open up a gateway to work with scientists in the rest of Africa and use the MRC and use our platform as a resource for them as well. Okay. So, so when we established the centre, we, um, we didn't do it in a competitive way. Uh, we did it to fill a very niche gap, which is whole human genome sequencing and large scale human genome sequencing. My, my hope for the centre is that we rapidly go to scale, that we start to unlock the mysteries of our genome and start to unlock the mysteries of Africa and how Africa um, can work to improve the health of the world. Thank you.